Hello, my name is Nicole Elliott and I'm a technical analyst and private investor. And today I thought I'd look at some emerging market currencies. And the reason I've chosen these is that, as we know, global trade this year has absolutely collapsed. And often emerging markets are um, export dependent economies. Um, so I've picked out three of the, the BRICS, as they used to be called. Uh, my first chart, billion rail against the US dollar. Uh, this is the weekly candlestick chart to which I've added the Ichimoku cloud system. And as you can see already at the end of last year, the Brazilian rail was pushing up, i.e. the higher it goes, the more reais you need to get yourself a dollar, um, at the record high. It was really banging on. And then it just it just lost, lost the plot um, in the first uh, quarter of this year. And you can see it's possibly the worst performing currency. At one point, it had actually lost 45% of its value. And in, uh, in, uh, observed volatility had hit over 30%. So really, really scary stuff. Now, the right angle triangle, the height of it, gives several Fibonacci projections. Those are the blue lines that you can see. And we have rallied, the US dollar has rallied 261% of the height of that triangle. So I, I suggest it's time to take a breather. Um, observed volatility has pulled back quite a bit already, but it's still on the high side of things. And I expect a bout of um, consolidation. Um, and it's going to take a breather now. It's not going to continue at this pace. And our second chart, is very, very similar, again, weekly with clouds. It's the Russian ruble against the US dollar. And it too was in a right angle triangle, a bigger one since, uh, yeah, a big one since 2018. And that one actually also hit its uh, Fibonacci projection. And what's interesting here has come back very sharply. So it had weakened um, by um, 30%. Now it's just 15% weaker against the US dollar, um, partly because they, the central bank has got a very, very competent lady at its head, Miss Nabulina, and I think she really has her firm grip on, on the steering wheel. Um, and so now I think we should base at around the 70 ruble area in that what had been resistance should now become support. Um, so again, about consolidation here, and then we'll see how we get on, but I think we'll probably get weaker again. My third and final chart, same again, it's the Indian rupee against the US dollar. Now I should explain that several countries in the world have what we call a managed float. This includes Singapore, um, and India is one of those two. So I mean, to give you some idea, in the 1980s, you got, you needed about 10 rupees to buy yourself a US dollar. Now, as you can see, you need 70 rupees. This one too hit its 61% Fibonacci projection uh, from a, a slightly different triangle um, and is validating, but very close to, to the record highs, very close to. Um, volatility on this one is much lower. Um, and in fact, the devaluation has been just 5% this year. So, I mean, this is a very much more subdued version of the previous uh, two charts with Brazil at one extreme and in table. So that's something to ponder um, for the next three months.